Hey, so today I wanna to share with you how you can track your HRV or heart rate variability data without even having a smartwatch or a heart rate strap. Then make sure to stay to the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you how I use my HRV data to adjust my training, which has allowed me to stay injury free for over the past 12 years. So first off, if you don't know what HRV or heart rate variability is, it's basically a measurement of how variable your heart rate is from one beat to the other. Because even if you get a heart rate measurement of let's say 68 beats per minute, that's really just an average, but every single beat varies slightly lightly, and depending on how varied those heartbeats are, determines your HRV, which is a signal of how stressed or recovered you actually are. And all these devices, whether it's a Whoop, an Apple Watch, an Aura Ring, all of them use HRV primarily as the method to determine what your recovery score is. And because your HRV data is so important to determine how well your body is going to be able to adjust to additional stress, the additional scores that these companies come up with, I mostly just ignore them and use the actual HRV data itself as I find that just to be more accurate and reliable. Now, when it comes to tracking your HRV, there is several different ways to do it. So first off, our devices like Aura Ring or Garmin, those devices will take your HRV reading throughout the night and be able to give you a nightly average HRV score in the morning. And while that can be valuable, especially if you're looking at longer term trends, on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't find that data very compelling because if you want to actually determine your daily HRV data, the closer you take it to waking up or ideally taking it right after you wake up, that'll give you an HRV score that is much more representative of how your body will be able to handle stress the following day. And so there are devices like Whoop, for example, which will track your HRV score overnight, but their algorithm will highly push the scores that it gets closer to when you wake up as being more valuable. And so those tend to be a little bit more accurate, but nothing is ever quite as valuable as being able to take a manual score first thing in the morning, which some watches like Polar and Garmin allow for, but the biggest problem with that is obviously you have to remember to do it first thing in the morning and it does take about a minute or two depending on the watch. But I do think if you're able to dial in that behavior of just tracking your HRV score for one minute first thing in the morning, it is gonna be able to give you a number that is much more valuable than any other method. And guess what? You actually don't even need a smartwatch or a heart rate strap to be able to get your HRV score first thing in the morning. All you need is your phone. Because what's really cool about the cameras on your phone, they're actually able to, when you put your finger over it with the flashlight on, accurately able to get your heart rate and HRV data. So there's actually an app called HRV for training, which I think has like a one-time cost of like $10. But that app will allow you to place your finger over your camera for one minute and give you an accurate HRV score. And what I also do like about that app is, you know, a lot of these other recovery tools that come from like Whoop or Garmin or others, they are very focused on if you have a low HRV score, that's bad. But realistically, if you have a very high score outside of your personal average, that's just as telling that your body is having some issues. And what I like about HRV for training is they actually recognize that and will tell you if you're outside of your range on the upper limit and on the bottom limit. So you can know if something's up and if you may need to be adjusting your training. And like I said, I wanna share with you how I use my personal HRV data to adjust my training because I've personally been tracking my HRV data for the past 12 years. And essentially ever since I've tracked my HRV data, I have never been injured from training. And I train quite a lot, both with strength training and endurance training. And prior to that, I used to get injured, not frequently, but at least once or twice every few years. So the way I use my HRV score is if it's outside of my personal good range, whether below or above, if it's just barely outside or slightly outside for just one day, I personally suggest you just ignore it. However, if it's off two days or more in a row, if it's too low or too high or one day low, one day too high, then I will bring my training back quite a bit until my HRV gets back into the regular range. So for example, my HRV score might be really high, which is a concern, but I wouldn't adjust it from there. And then the next day really low, at that point, I would cut things back entirely, maybe even take an entire rest day. And once it's back into my good range, go from there. And it's really as simple as that. You don't need any additional fancy recovery scores or sleep tracking or anything like that because all of that is going to be reflected in your HRV. So 
you literally only need to have the HRV numbers in order to be able to determine if your body is ready for a lot of an additional stress that day. And some of you may be shocked to see your HRV score is going all over the place. And as you figure out, you know, what sort of training works for you and you dial in your lifestyle habits and are able to sleep consistently and eat well, you'll find that your HRV stays in the zone a lot more often than not. And so you don't really have to adjust what you're going to be doing for training that day and can just follow your regular plan. However, obviously, if you have less sleep or things are happening or you're stressed out, you are going to start to see that more reflected in your HRV being a lot more dynamic. And so you're going to need to take additional days off or back off on some of your training, which is really a good idea and will allow you to get better long-term results and also be able to avoid a lot of injuries that happen when you train too hard relative to what your body can handle. So I hope this video helped you out, whether you track your HRV scores via a smartwatch or a heart rate monitor or just via your phone. And if you have any additional questions, I'd be more than happy to help you out via the comments below. Again, this is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts. Make sure to subscribe if you want the latest in fitness tech, and I'll see you next time.